Hi everyone and welcome to PsyQ Saturday. So today I have a very special guest, a screenwriting icon, uh, an old friend of mine since the next MacGyver contest and the creator of MacGyver, Lee Zlotov. Lee, thank you so much for coming and joining us. Pleasure to be here. Now, for the people who don't have a television, right. who is MacGyver? <laughs> for those of you who have never heard of MacGyver or seen MacGyver, he is a action adventure hero who does not use gun uh, but instead uses the power of his mind to basically overcome any obstacle by finding whatever's available and turning it into whatever he needs. Hence the verb to MacGyver. Um, and he always somehow manages to do that with a sense of humor and humility. He does. He's an all-round good guy that gets you out of any sticky situation. For those of you who've been watching this channel for a while, you know that we're huge fans of MacGyver because Beck and I won the next MacGyver contest that Lee hosted about a year ago, trying to get more women involved in engineering. And MacGyver really inspired a generation of people to be makers and to think differently. So Lee, you've got a new program called The MacGyver Secret. Yes. Can you tell us what The Secret is? The MacGyver Secret, uh, it is now a book but essentially, it's that inside of everyone, there is a brilliant problem solver. So I call that your inner MacGyver. You could call it your subconscious or your higher self or Fred. It doesn't really matter what you call it, but inside of everyone is an incredibly brilliant problem solver that most of us are not using most of the time. Mm -hmm. And the secret basically teaches you how to access that inner MacGyver or that part of your subconscious to solve any problem, whether it's a technical problem, a creative problem, a professional problem, a personal problem, you can use it to pretty much solve anything. And more often than not, 65 to 75% of the time, you'll get back an answer that surprises you because it turns out that our what I call our hamster wheel head, which is the conscious mind that is a constant wheel of thoughts from when you wake up in the morning to mm. when you go to sleep. We have been all been taught to solve problems using that part of our mind. And it turns out that part of our mind is not particularly good at solving problems. It's good at identifying problems and it's good at evaluating solutions. It's just not very good at actually doing the problem solving. Now, being able to solve any problem seems like an awesome superpower to have. So what types of problems have people been applying the, the MacGyver secret to? Well, uh, there are a number of tech entrepreneurs who use it in their business problems. Uh, I recently gave a talk uh, about how to use the MacGyver secret to transform your business. There are coders and engineers who obviously face problem solving on a regular basis. There are creatives, designers, writers, anyone who has that as part of their job. So this is your main guy? What makes him so special? He doesn't even have any gear. That's what makes him so special. The book is co-authored by a woman named uh, Colleen Seifert, who's a PhD. And I've been working with Colleen for four years to basically align what this secret is with the known science mm. in cognitive science around problem solving. And so Colleen has written all of the science blocks that basically confirm and validate what I'm saying about the secret based on current research. So Colleen is a scientist, and so there's a lot of science behind them, cognitive science behind the MacGyver secret as well. Yes, the fact is even since we've started, there's been even more science that's come online, all of which seems to really confirm what it is I'm proposing, which is there's a better way to solve problems, and we have the research to prove it now. Yeah. So. As a neuroscientist by training, I, I, it's just amazing how much new research is coming out that we don't know how we think and how the brain operates. So it's very cool to see someone actually getting into the science and figuring out how we can operate better from a scientific point of view. The really cool thing for me is, look, we know a lot about the brain. We know less about the mind. Mm. Now, a lot of scientists say there's no difference between the brain and the mind, but the fact is, there is no definitive scientific agreement about what the subconscious or your inner MacGyver is, what its function is, what its limits are. So this is, no pun intended, a really big gray area. Yeah. And consequently, there's 
room for even sort of TV hacks like me to go, well, what about trying this? Yeah. And essentially, you know, when I shared my secret method with Colleen, she went, I really want to work with you on this because we've never done anything like this in the scientific community. And this could open up a whole new avenue of exploration. Now, it sounds really awesome and something that I know a lot of our viewers are going to want to check out. So where can they find out more information? Uh, MacGyverSecret.com. You can see what's there. And if you just give us an email address where to send it, we'll send you all the free stuff. At the end of the day, you don't have to take my word for it. You can just do it and see if it works for you and then go from there. Well, Lee, thank you so much for coming in and talking to us today. My Such pleasure. a pleasure to have you. And everyone, go check out the MacGyver Secret. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.